Hello YouTube, it's iMac Helping here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom CD label. So the program that we're going to be, the, that we're going to be using is called iWinSoft Label Maker. And if you want to download this program or even buy it, you'll just have to go to the link that we have in the description. Just go to this website right here. Scroll down till you see the download button. Just download it and try the program. So once that's done, just open the program. You'll get you to this menu right here. And here you can choose uh, how to customize your CD label. So it has many various options. I'll just go through some of them or most of them in order to see if you like the program guys and if you want to download and buy it. So here you can choose the CD that you want and you that the CD that you want to make the label for. For example, I'm going to choose a random CD, for example this one right here. So in this top section you can click on the on this icon right here and you open this menu. This is the object information. This is very useful when you want to customize your label. So I'll be uh, talking about it in, in right a moment. So in the image tab, you can choose if you want to edit the clip art or the background. And here, on the where you can preview your CD, you can choose if you're going to be editing your background or foreground. For example, let's just go ahead and edit the background first. So in the background section, you'll have to choose the image that you like for the background of your CD label. You can choose uh, one image from the presets that it already has. Uh, here you can choose the category of the presets that you want. For example, if you if you like transport, you can choose on the transport, wait for it to load and add the clip art that you want as a background. And if you don't like any of the presets, you can add your own photo by just clicking this menu right here, scrolling down till you see set custom folder, just uh, open the folder you want. For example, I'm gonna have my YouTube logo as a background. Just go ahead and find the folder you want. Just click in and set set folder. So once that's done, it will open the folder you have selected, and all you have to do is drag the folder you like on your CD, then scale it however you like it. For example, let's make it a little bit bigger and have it I don't know like here, maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, just right here. So this is going to be the background of my CD label. So if you want to uh, put a mask on it, so you'll have to do, click on the mask icon. Just uh, it will open this tag. Let me get you this menu away. And here you can put the mask on your image. For example, if you want the heart, just click on the heart and it will get you to the shape kind of like image. So once that's done, you can go ahead and click on the design tab. Here it will have some presets that you can choose if you don't have time to make your own background for example if you're making a music video, music cd just click on the music tab just click on the one that you like and we'll get you to a preset where you can fully customize it just click on the test delete it and add however you like for example i don't know cd or something like that so if you want to customize the font or the color all you have to do is select the Select the text, the text that you want to customize just go on the object information tab click on the text panel and here you can choose the font that you like for example I don't know let's make it a little bit green and maybe change the font size to 70 sorry 70 and here you can choose the font that you text you want for example you can choose whatever you want if you have a custom font you can, sell, you can import it from right here so another option that it gives you you can create shapes for example if you want to create a circle in CD all you have to do is click on the circle icon just create the circle and then go to the object formation panel again click on the graphic properties here you can choose if you want to fill it or not and if you want to fill it if you want to have a gradient option for example let's say I want to make it a little bit red and the second color is going to be a lighter red or a darker red I don't know for, so for example something like that you can also have a shadow for your object here select uh, how big your shadow you want to be and if you want to blur this option or not so once you are done with the, with the editing all you have to do is click on the print button just wait for it here you can just go ahead and print it and, we, uh, and here you can see how it is going to be printed so if you like what you have already done just go ahead and print the button and it will print the CD label that you have just created with a banner because you haven't bought this app so if you like this app and if you like the presets that it has and how you can customize your CD label please go ahead and buy these apps it's a very useful app and will totally help you while customizing your CD label so thank you for watching guys as always subscribe if you like my videos and favorite them follow me on Twitter or Facebook and have a nice day so bye-bye and see you in my next video.